Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will create a response class for our geolocation API. So let's start it. Go to app under Java under your package name. As you can see, we have a response directory. Okay. Now right click on it, then select new, then select Java class. In the Java class name field, you have to provide a name of your response class. Let's name it country response. Okay, now fine. And now press enter. As you can see, our response class has been ready. Now we have to implement serializable. So let's keep the cursor here and type implements and serializable. This one. Okay. This one. Fine. Now we have to get our serialized string. The first one is IP and the second is country key. Okay, so we have only two country. There, as you can see, there is a uh, no any other arrays for country or any other data. So we not need to create a list, list class, list layout, or list adapter. Okay, that is. It's a simple API. There is no need to create an adapter class or a list layout. Okay, so let's start it. So let's make it serialized name and first part is IP. Copy this one, paste it here, and it is done. Now create a private string and paste it here. Okay, now it has been done. Now also take country, create another serialized name, paste it here, create a private string, okay, now fine. Now you have to create a getter, remember that we not need any setter, okay, getter and setter is the old method, but we are using a extended version of the coding so we not need setter so now press alt plus insert key from your keyboard and select getter only okay select this one and select all of this by pressing control and then this one mouse key now press ok as you can see our getter also has been created and our response class is almost completed now we have to add our response class into our api interface class okay so let's add it how you can add it in the game hubs as you know after the base url we have these urls but as you can see uh, there is no other parts and API endpoint. So what you will do in this case? So it is very simple. You have to just pass a empty parameters like this ID is equal to none. You can do pass anything after the uh, question mark. It, in, it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's pass ID is equal to none. Copy this one. Okay. And create a get request okay now pass it here this one okay now call your response class which is country response okay and give a method or name to your country name so that we can get the country info using this method so let's name it get country info you can give any name to it it is totally up to you so it has been done okay this video has been completed i will meet you in the next video